Hello everyone and welcome back to I'm your host and today we have some exciting news to share with you. In a significant development, Senator Bernie Sanders' bill aimed at increasing Social Security benefits has passed in Congress. This bill promises a $2,400 increase for beneficiaries, including those on Supplemental Security Income, SSI, and Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI. In this video, we'll delve into the details of this landmark legislation, discuss its potential impact, and what it means for millions of Americans who rely on these vital programs. But before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update on critical issues like this. Let's get started. First, let's break down what the Sanders bill is all about and why it's generating so much buzz. Senator Bernie Sanders introduced this legislation with the aim of providing a much-needed boost to Social Security benefits. The bill proposes an increase of $2,400 annually for beneficiaries across the board, which includes those on SI and SSDI. But how exactly does this work? Graphics showing Senator Sanders' bill. Graph illustrating current benefit levels and the proposed increase. The proposed increase will be achieved through various mechanisms, including adjusting the formula used to calculate benefits and lifting the cap on taxable income. This means that not only will current beneficiaries see a boost in their monthly checks, but future beneficiaries will also benefit from a more substantial safety net. Now, let's talk about the specific impact of this bill on SSDI beneficiaries. These programs play a vital role in the lives of millions of Americans with disabilities and low income, providing essential financial support. Graphics showing the number of SSI and SDI beneficiaries. A chart illustrating the average benefit amounts for SSI and SSDI recipients. Currently, SSI beneficiaries receive modest monthly payments. And for many, these benefits fall short of covering basic living expenses. SSDI recipients, on the other hand, receive benefits based on their work history, but often face financial challenges due to medical costs and other factors. The $2,400 increase proposed in the Sanders bill represents a significant boost for SSI and SSDI beneficiaries. Let's discuss why this increase is so vital. Personal stories from SSI and SSDI recipients sharing their struggles. Dot graphics comparing the cost of living to current benefit levels. For many SSI and SSDI recipients, the current benefit levels are simply not enough to cover their basic needs, let alone unexpected expenses. This increase could mean the difference between struggling to make ends meet and having a more stable financial future. Of course, a bill of this magnitude raises questions about funding and potential costs. Let's delve into these considerations. Dot graphics showing potential sources of funding for the increase. Charts comparing the proposed costs to the federal budget. To fund this increase. The bill proposes measures such as lifting the cap on taxable income, ensuring that higher income individuals contribute more to the program. Additionally, it suggests exploring other funding mechanisms to make the increase sustainable without overburdening the federal budget. Now, what's next for the Sanders bill? While it has passed in Congress, there are still several steps to be taken before it becomes law. A visual representation of the legislative process from Congress to the President's desk. The bill now heads to the Senate, where it will undergo further deliberation and potential amendments. It's crucial to stay informed and engaged in this process, as public support can play a significant role in shaping the final legislation. We've discussed the bill's details and potential impact. But let's hear from advocacy groups and experts who have been closely following these developments. Clips of interviews with representatives from organizations advocating for Social Security beneficiaries. These organizations have been instrumental in pushing for reforms 
that benefit SSI and SSDI. Recipients and their insights provide valuable perspectives on the bill's significance. Before we wrap up, let's talk about how you can get involved and make your voice heard in this important conversation. Dot graphics displaying contact information for senators and representatives. Instructions on how to advocate for the bill and support its passage. Dot, you can make a difference by reaching out to your senators and representatives, sharing your stories, and expressing your support for the Sanders bill. Remember, your voice matters in shaping the future of social security programs. Dot, I end conclusion. The Sanders bill's passage in Congress represents a significant step towards providing much-needed financial relief to SSDI beneficiaries.